I've sold $800 in this one brand in the past 28 days. What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Sarah from Sarah Styles here. I've sold $8,604 in the past 28 days on Poshmark and eBay. In today's video, I will be showing you my top 20 brands that sold, as well as actual items that sold in the past 28 days that contributed to these numbers. So let's get into it. All right, top 20 brands in the last 28 days. You can see here, I have the qu current 28 days. Based off of this data, my past 28 days, my top performing brands. They have brought me the most gross revenue in the past 28 days. Free People, Columbia, Coach, Velvet by Graham and Spencer, Ideology, Rails, ATM, Nike, Patagonia, Theory, Rag and Bone, Pam and Gella, The North Face, Monroe, Adidas, Frame, Michael Kors, Hoka 1-1, Bella Doll, an alternative. Those are the brands that have brought me the most money in the past 28 days. Please do keep in mind that I do sell thrifted and <clears throat> liquidation new with tags. I will link a video up here that talks about the difference in the two and what performs better for me because there is a difference. Um, and you're gonna notice that when I show you the exact items that sell in a minute, you will notice some are thrifted and some are liquidation new with tags. You can make money doing both of them. Before we get into a little bit more details about those top 20 brands, I do want to talk a little bit about what your sell through rate means and what your average sale price means and how that is going to contribute to the chart and really tell me what of those brands are performing well for me. All right, so this chart right here is going to show you what your sell through rate is. It's essentially telling you how many items have sold out of how many items that you have for sale. If you have 50 items for sale and you've sold all 50 of those, you have 100% average, you have 100% sell through rate, which is killer, right? That is what essentially what you want. You want to be selling everything that you have. That's one metrics that I look at and then I will show you right here. A second metrics is your average sale price. On average, how how much are these items? selling for it. Those are two metrics that I look at and you can see those here in this chart as well. You can see up here is going to be my Bolo brands because anything that is selling at a high sell th a high sell through rate, but then also a high average sell price. You can see I don't have a ton of these. I if I had a ton of Bolo brands, um, you know, those would be the only brands that I sell. They're very hard to find, but this tells me specifically my Bolo brands. And I'm gonna go into detail for a little, some of these. Um, Coach, if you're new to my channel, this is one of my Bolo brands always. Sell through rate is 46% at an average sell price of $65. So in the past 28 days, 46% of the Coach that I have for sale has sold, and it's selling on average for $65. Make sure to stay tuned to see actual items that sold that are contributing to these data points. Um, another one is Pam and Gella. 50% of this brand has sold at an average sale price of $54. These are new with tags, so do keep that in mind when you're looking at this. Some of these are new with tags. That's going to increase my average sale price. Uh, Velvet and Graham, this again is also new with tags, average sale price of $35. 55% of this brand has sold in the past 28 days. That's ridiculous. My my sell through rate for m the month it typically is between fifteen and twenty percent. So an average or a sell through rate that is fifty five percent is significantly higher than my current sell through rate. That is like amazing for me. Monroe is up there. The one that I wanted to talk a little bit about, so it's not a bolo, but I have made over $800 in this one brand. Sell through rate is 26%. So that means 26% of what I have listed is has sold. It's only selling at an average sale price of $32. So not as you know sexy as some of these up here, but I'm making money off of it. And this is a brand that a lot of social media will tell you, hey, don't pick up Columbia. I will tell you, it depends on what kind of Columbia to pick up. So make sure to watch through this whole video to see what items actually sold that contributed to this. I'm in Colorado. So some of this Columbia is from thrift stores and some of my Columbia is new with tags, which again is going to make a difference. 
Before we jump into actual items that sold, if you want to learn how to make money, how to use data-driven strategies, strategies that are going to work whether you are part-time side hustle, full-time seller, no matter what you sell, these charts and graphs and all of my strategies will work because it's based off of numbers. Make sure to hit that subscribe button save this video for for future reference and share with a PFF that you think would enjoy learning a little bit more about how to increase their profits. All right, now let's look at actual items that sold. All right, so I do sell on Poshmark and on eBay. So you're going to see a little bit of mix of these. You can see that Free People was up there. Something I want to talk about with Free People is it does matter what Free People you have. So I brought in a couple of Free Peoples that I have thrifted as well as a couple of Free People items that I purchased new with tags from a liquidation palette. The new with tags with a liquidation palette not only is going to be with new with tags, it's also going to be more recent free people. This was something I bought at a garage sale. I bought it for a dollar, uh, sold it for $19. So I don't, I had it for about a year though. <clears throat> so I don't mind this, but it's definitely going to sell differently than say my new with tags free people that sold for $37 new with tags from a liquidation palette. Velvet and Gram. So you can see this sold. This is liquidation palette as well, $28.89. And I want you guys to really make sure I'm going to link the video up there for you because as I go through and show you this, it's easy to say, hey, Sarah, it's easy to sell a lot and make a lot of money when you're doing liquidation. And that's not necessarily true. My thrift store items actually sell higher than my liquidation palette. You're going to see more from the liquidation palette simply because I just have more of the liquidation palettes because I'm buying items, you know, $500 at a time where thrift store, I just simply don't have as many thrift store items. But if you want the full analysis on that, I will link that video for you guys. Okay, so this is one of the Columbia. I did buy a liquidation palette. It had a lot of these. Um, this is one, it did not sell for this. It sold, there was a bundle. One of the reasons Columbia is in here is someone was like, I can never find 2X in my size. Um, so she bought like four or five of these. I think in this view, it doesn't show exactly how much it sold for. It was an offer and it sold, I think for $40. They'll typically sell between $30 and $40. These fleeces, um, those are new with tax. If you have a fleece, Columbia fleece, that is going to be from a thrift store, if it's in phenomenal shape, it's probably only going to sell for like 15 bucks. Ideology, not sexy, like at all. Most of my ideology is selling around this $10 price point. Um, but I have, you can see over here in this chart, I have, that's free people. I have a lot of it. The bigger the circle, the more I have of it. So I have a lot of ideology. I have a lot of free people because I've bought liquidation pallets and that's what comes on the liquidation pallet. You can see my average sale price is $14. My sell through rate is 17%. I have 135 items of this. Would I buy a liquidation palette of ideology only? No. Would I buy this at a thrift store? Absolutely not. Does it come when I buy um, this velvet and gram? Yes. Does it come when I buy rails? Yes. So they put in some of these lower ideology brands. It is going to sell, um, but I also have a lot that hasn't sold, right? coach. I love me some coach. My coach is going to all be thrifted items. I don't buy, I haven't bought a liquidation palette of purses. They tend to be priced really high. <laughs> um, and some of the sites say that you can't sell them. Um, so I haven't gotten into that yet, but here's a coach sold at $97 for this coach. You can tell this is a newer style coach. Um, and then this is something, if you guys don't know, so for a very brief time, they did not put the creed in side. So normally on the inside pocket, there is a creed, you know, a leather patch that has their information and the creed number for a short period, or if the bag is really small, they will do it like this, um, where it's sewn on the inside of the inside pocket. So look it up. Um, make sure that it's authentic. Definitely don't sell a fake one, but every once in a while, you will see one that is like that. Patagonia. I'm in Colorado. <laughs> I see Patagonia fairly often. Most of the thrift stores here know it and will price it pretty high. Uh, so I don't always buy it. I will buy it for myself though. <laughs> um, but this was a pair of men's jeans. 
he had a couple questions and he, I got back to him really quickly and he bought it. Uh, so oftentimes on social media, I will see, Hey, you know, people ask questions and then they don't buy it. Well, if they're asking for measurements and the measurements don't fit them, then they're not going to buy it. Um, but he was asking questions and he, the, I, apparently the measurements fit what he needed. Um, and he did end up buying it. This Patagonia, I don't know why I'm saying that. This Patagonia was actually my Patagonia. <laughs> I found it at a thrift store. Um, and I wore it for, I don't know, a year or two. But I have a dog that sheds a lot. <laughs> and so I would wear it once and it would just be covered, even though like I would, I wouldn't put it on until I got outside. My dog sheds so much <laughs> that I would wear it once and it would just be covered in dog hair and I'd have to wash it again or put it in the dryer or lint roll it. Um, so I finally got sick of doing that and I sold it. It sold probably in a week for $49. <laughs> Here is Coach, this is thrifted items. I don't know if you guys are noticing, and like I said, I have a video on this, but if you're noticing, my thrift store items sell pretty high. My average sale price, average sale price for thrifted items is higher because I can cherry pick exactly what I want to buy. It just, for me, because I have three kids at home, it's hard for me to find the time to thrift. So the liquidation is something that, you know, I can buy a liquidation palette and I can be processing it and working on it when my kids are home and time allows. It's harder to do that with thrifting, so it allows me to do a little bit more volume. So here's Coach. This sold um, on Poshmark. You can see now we're going moving into Poshmark. Definitely less sales on Poshmark. You can see here, if we scroll down, my split out. This is the past 28 days between Poshmark and eBay. eBay is definitely <laughs> higher than Poshmark for sure, um, so you'll see more eBay sales then Poshmark there is Coach. And then here's another Free People. So this is a Free People new with tags. And it's still only sold at $20. Uh, Monroe, this is a Monroe, I think I'm saying it right. I'm terrible with <laughs> all words, guys. So tell me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, this is a new with tags hooded hoodie. Um, and what's odd about this, Poshmark sellers are not always the most sophisticated. I sent out offers and I sent an out an offer to this and then a pair of pants um, in the same brand. And the person accepted both of them, but then had to pay shipping on both of them. And I didn't realize it, guys, until I was pulling this in. Typically, if that happens, I would send them a message and say, hey, you know, if I cancel this and bundle it together, you only have to pay one shipping. But I didn't notice it. I was just going through my packages and sent it all out, pulling the information for this video. And I was like, huh, that's the same buyer. Oh, wow. And then this is a free people. So this free people is, it is new with tags. You can see down here, it is new with tags, but it is not something that I got on the liquidation palette. It is an older new with tags. So it's not in the most recent years. It's an older new with tags. You can see it only sold for $12. And I actually had it on hand for probably at least a year. If you like videos like this, YouTube thinks that you would like this video. I will go ahead and link a what sold video here to show you guys more items that are selling for me right now and then make sure to hit that subscribe button.